hello everyone hope all of you are doing well so i uh, today i again come with a new topic in success factor as usual i know after a long period of time i'm publishing this video and uh, my sincere apology for that you know means due to some tight scheduling or other project related works i couldn't make time to prepare the videos but uh, today i just uh, got some bandwidth and uh, here i am come with a new topic in success factors so uh, hope you guys are all safe right now you know this uh, covid 19 pandemic situation is going all around the world hope you are staying at home and stay safe so uh, as you already seen from my thumbnail that uh, our today's topic is on uh, some insurance type benefit configuration so actually uh, uh, means if i i, I was thinking that uh, there are different kinds of benefits configurations uh, we need to do in success factors but uh, the most confusing one is the insurance type benefit configuration because there are a lot of objects we need to configure to configure a complete insurance type benefits so i found that uh, the, and many other consultants has a lot of queries and confusions uh, over this configuration part of insurance type benefits so uh, i thought let's prepare one uh, video summarizing all of these configuration steps so that will be easier for others as well means uh, who are new in these success factor configurations or who are already started working they can revise their own knowledge as well yeah so uh, before uh, going to the topic i like to request everyone please uh, pause the video for a while hit the rip subscriber button if you have not subscribed my channel yet and don't forget to press the bell icon so that if i upload any new video you can get the notification at the earliest you can find all of my previous uploaded videos as well uh, in the playlist called success factor you can find the playlist details at the i icon in top right corner over here almost you can find that icon click on that icon you can find the playlist and go to the playlist you can find all of these previous uploaded videos hope uh, those videos will be uh, useful to you because all of those are hands-on live demo system uh, live demo videos actually yeah so no more uh, uh, introduction uh, further so let's go to the topic uh, okay first uh, let's try to understand uh, what are the different kinds of insurances available so as you know insurance is nothing but suppose a based on company's policy uh, there are different kinds of insurance can be available and uh, each insurance types uh, have different uh, means contributions uh, policies as well in some insurances are uh, employee contributions only not the employer contribution some uh, insurances are employee and employer both contributions available and uh, some insurance only employer cons contributions only so uh, there are different kinds of uh, insurance uh, types available in an organization so i try to just figure out what are the mostly used insurance uh, in an organization uh, most of the companies are um, placing the requirements for so what are those basically so if i just uh, figure out what are those let's try to check like uh, accident is one kind of insurance uh, available then business troubles dental insurance medical and health it is very uh, most uh, widely used this uh, health and medical insurances because almost every organization has this kind of uh, insurance policies available in their uh, company next is life insurance as well then long term care insurance uh, long term disability insurance occupational disability insurance uh, short term disability insurance uh, unemployment insurance also uh, if it, that is one kind of government related uh, uh, SF implementation then unemployment related insurance also can be available then uh, vision insurance as well so these are the common most commonly used insurance types i tried to figure out over here but apart from that as well many more other insurance types can also be available yeah now uh, let's check out first what are the most important thing what is the configuration steps for insurances right so before going to the configuration steps what are the prerequisites okay so first prerequisite is enable global benefits module from provisioning obviously means um, uh, i'm not sure means how many uh, uh, global benefit uh, products you have seen but, but i have checked a few more apart from success factor as well and trust me uh, 
the success factor insurance configurations is most uh, means very popular among to the clients actually because it meets most of the requirements provided by clients and i'm not going to the in, any developments uh, maybe other products you also like it but but from my point of view my opinion point of view actually i'm taking you know, telling these insurance type configurations uh, in global uh, benefits actually so that is very widely used uh, most in the european and us specific customers and uh, though the structure this insurance benefit structure actually uh, sap has uh, developed uh, by thinking that taking the difference from us customers actually so lots of uh, insurance types are available which are us specific us local specific only but uh, it can be, if we just tweak the configuration is little bit it can be globally used to other uh, customers as well and it is very uh, one of the robust product i could say uh, in a robust feature in this product i could say so you can obviously try out these configurations so first uh, uh, prerequisite as i told you need to first enable the uh, global benefits module from the provisioning you can find this kind of uh, enable uh, global benefits uh, option in the provisioning just uh, switch in on switch it on and uh, you can find the uh, insurance is uh, uh, sorry benefits are available in your instance next uh, prerequisite that is the provide rb obviously means when you enable any uh, feature in the system uh, that can be rbp controlled as well you need to provide the proper rbp for uh, global benefits you can find in manage in permission roles you can go there and find this manage uh, benefit permissions over there and you, these relevant permissions you can just switch on to avail these benefit configurations or benefit feature as an employee right next one next one is the uh, create required pay components obviously when we are talking about insurance specifically insurance type uh, benefits there will be uh, employee or employer contributions and employee and em employer contributions how uh, system can have means how much uh, so via these uh, insurance type benefits uh, employee can enroll for this particular insurances but how system will uh, understand how much contribution employees providing or employer is providing it, it can be measured via pay components so uh, as a part of prerequisite those pay components should already be exist in the system so these are the basic three uh, prerequisite before going for the insurance type benefits configurations yeah now uh, move ahead and let's check what is the major configuration steps over there so uh, basically uh, we need to focus on four basic objects when we are talking about insurance type benefits configuration first one is this insurance plan this is the major part of this configuration second one is the insurance coverage third one is the enrollee options and fourth one is the rate chart so what do we mean by these insurance plans or insurance coverage or employee options and rate chart let's try to understand that uh, first insurance plans actually it, it is covering uh, the whole uh, design or whole policy policy within this object actually what are those policies suppose uh, as a part of this policy what should be the coverage that employee is going to provide for this particular insurance is it a th uh, 30000 usd in uh, or 50000 usd or 15000 usd or it is depending on some and dynamically uh, based on employee's grade or employee's salary what is that amount so that amount uh, can be configured as a part of insurance coverage and then uh, which uh, enrollees can avail these uh, benefits either only employee uh, himself or herself or uh, employees other dependents as well you can configure it in the enrollee options then uh, what is the contribution or premium rate as a part of these insurances when where employees going to enroll that so what are the uh, contributions you can specifically define those contribu contribution amounts uh, in these rate charts based on different filter criteria what are those criteria i am coming to that and all of these features are included in, within this insurance plan so this is basically the heart of this configuration okay now let's uh, try to uh, check what are the inner components we need to configure within these four major objects yeah so in, as a part of insurance plan 
what we need to configure basically first thing is the insurance provider obviously uh, when we are talking about insurance it can be a third party insurance providers or the um, organization itself can be the insurance provider as well okay so we need to configure one kind of insurance provider here next is the eligibility rule this is optional as well means either that insurance can be applicable to all of the employees or you can set up a specific eligibility rule for the specific insurance plans as well next one is the employee or employer contribution pay components what are the pay components as a part of prerequisite so we already have created that pay components we need to tag in into these insurance plans next one is the premium for premium for means for which uh, enrollees you are going to um, uh, plan these insurance you can just uh, refer those uh, particular enrollees into over here uh, into into this particular section called premium for it can be employee only or employees dependents or family whatever it is now coming to uh, insurance coverage what are the uh, components specifically we need to configure over here okay the first component is amount obviously means amount in the sense means uh, i mean to say this insurance coverage we can classify into four kinds of uh, configurations one is suppose hard coded amounts you just specify okay for this particular insurance this is the hard coded amount that is going to be provided as a coverage there is no dynamic uh, factorization or no dynamic measure on that so you can we can uh, configure one insurance coverage with the type of amounts ne se second type suppose you are going to configure one uh, coverage based on percentage that percentage can uh, when we are talking about percentage obviously there will be some base pay component based on which this percentage calculation will work on so that base pay component can be employees base salary or gross salary whatever it is okay next uh, type is factor suppose you want to apply some kind of factors it is not either hard coded amounts or not, not based on uh, some percentages rather than that you can try to apply some factors based on which this insurance coverage is going to be calculated okay then we need to choose this type of type as factor and if nothing on all, all of those are being considered as a part of your requirement then we can con uh, configure one insurance coverage with type of type as other so these are the four basic types using which we can configure the insurance coverages yes now coming to these enrollee options what are the enrollee options are available let's try to figure out that enrollee what are the fields means what are the components we need to configure within these enrollee options one is the enrollee or dependents we need to specify for which enrollee or for which dependents you are going to uh, 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 going to create this enrollee option you need to uh, just configure that part first second part is minimum or maximum allowed dependents how many dependents are going to be allowed uh, in that particular insurance plan or enrollee options you can specify over here in this particular configuration and the next one is eligibility uh, dependence eligibility you can specify any uh, dependence uh, eligibility rule based on which your dependents will be cons considered as a valid uh, enrollee in that particular insurance right now uh, next coming to the other important part that is the rate chart what are the specific fields we need to configure over here okay so first field is the filter, filter criteria so there can, there can be different filter criteria based on which we can specify what should be the rate chart for this particular enrollee or for this particular insurance plan we can specify that next one is the factor so this factor you can see in insurance coverage also as well we have talked about one type as factor here also in rate chart one type as uh, factor but this factor is different with the insurance coverage factor because this factor is nothing but a type of insurance coverage where we need to define one business tool and then calculate the factor for the insurance coverage but here in the rate chart this factor has different uh, purpose actually if we just set the factor as minus one then whatever the uh, uh, e and year means employee and employer contribution we specify in this particular fields that will be uh, hard-codedly taken in the 
by the system but if we want to place as a percentage suppose 10 percent or whatever the dynamic figure we want to place then we need to place the factor uh, equivalent to that calculation as well it should not be minus one so minus one means whatever the hard coded values we have placed in the eer contribution that will be taken care and if we don't put minus one rather than any other figure we put then that will be multiplied with this factor and then it will calculate the premium rate for this particular uh, insurance right okay now we talked about the filter criteria what are the filter criteria available actually so first filter criteria is gender based on gender we can uh, apply the filter in the rate charts second one is age third one is location of these uh, enrollees and the fourth and last one is the smoking relevancy so as you know uh, different companies uh, most of the companies actually have this policy that if employee is a chain smoker or smoker then a different uh, rate uh, or premium will be considered for that particular employee if employee or employee dependence is non-smoker then different rate because uh, as for the studies obviously we know the smoking kills uh, uh, people because it causes the cancer so that's why uh, if uh, some employee is a uh, chain smoker the probability of having uh, these uh, diseases to this employee is high that's why the premium rates are different com comparing to the non-smokers so I think that's why this uh, smoking relevancy is also important and most of the companies also consider that while uh, deriving these uh, premium uh, premiums or uh, con employee contributions from the employees actually yeah so this is the overall uh, structure now all of these uh, objects are connected to insurance plans as i told this is the heart of this configuration and this is the overall roadmap how we need to configure the uh, insurances i know means uh, when i'm talking about theories there are a lot of confusions uh, for the new uh, who are very much new in this configuration part so let's go to the system and try, uh, check how we can configure it yeah yeah, I just uh, log into my instance right now. Uh, let me increase the phone size. Okay. So first, uh, we need to navigate to the uh, benefit related transactions to go start our configuration. To do that, uh, let's try to search benefit admin overview. So benefit admin overview, this is the benefit related transaction. We need to just navigate first to this transaction. And here uh, we need to create this benefit first. That's why I'm uh, clicking from the drop down as uh, in the create new objects drop down as benefit. Uh, in the first uh, specify benefit type. So obviously we are just talking about insurance type benefit here. That's why I'm choosing the benefit type as insurance uh, over here. Uh, then uh, benefit type we need to choose some uh, benefit ID over here so, so I am uh, just choosing here as LYT01 this is the benefit ID now let's choose one relevant name uh, LYT insure insurance putting the same as the benefit description as well effective date I am choosing 0011900 this you can choose based on your requirement from which effective date this benefit is going to be effective uh, currency i'm putting here as usd because i'm planning to just configure this for us based country only uh, now payroll integration so payroll integration what is the usage of this field if we just set it as yes then whatever the uh, with this benefit 11 pay component uh, employee a contribution pay component we are going to set automatically that pay component is going to be created as soon as the enrollment for this employee is approved okay that is the purpose of this if we set it no, set it as no then that uh, auto creation of this pay component into employees portlet in the recurring deduction portlet basically that will is not going to be happen so we want that uh, this uh, auto creation of deduction pay components as the employee contribution pay component should be uh, done automatically that's why i said this uh, payroll integration as yes over here and if it is going to create then it will ask for what should be the effective date i am choosing here as as of date on which that employee is going for the enrollment yeah 
sorry okay now uh legal entity so legal entity already i have maintained the legal entity for us based country so based on usa this is the legal entity i'm choosing here benefit schedule this uh, schedule also has been configured uh, let me just pick up the proper schedule this is already being configured in the system earlier so what is there in the benefit schedule let's quickly check it so uh, in benefit enrollment schedule you can see one uh, schedule period also we need to configure in that schedule period you can find we have defined uh, what is the enrollment effective dates basically uh, so this enrollment it is already being closed of uh, 4th of uh, 30th of march so let me just extend it bit to may 31st okay so that i can enroll and test it uh, in the system that's it saving it okay this is all about the schedule uh, we can configure now enrollment required obviously uh, we need the enrollment for the insurances always the enrollment required option will be yes uh, days remaining to enroll in benefit if you want to show that in the screen how many days are remaining for the employees to enroll this particular uh, benefit so if you want to show that you can choose the option as show if you don't want to show that you can hide it as well but generally for uh, if uh, for insurance type enrollment periods we need to show this number of days what is remaining for the employee so that employee can be aware this is my enrollment uh, window within this number of days i need to enroll for this uh, benefit yeah now uh, coming to the next option enrollment type obviously we have choose the enrollment required equals to yes now system will ask for whether this enrollment going to be a manual enrollment or autom automatic enrollment so manual enrollment means we, if we choose manual enrollment uh, employee need to enroll that by uh, manually as a part of ess employee self service or if we just choose as automatic then we need to schedule that particular uh, auto uh, one benefit uh, or auto benefit enrollment job from the provisioning system and based on that uh, automatically it is going to be enrolled based on the schedules yeah so i'm choosing here it is manual enrollment workflow if you want to tag any workflow you can tag it here right now i'm not tagging it uh, here and uh, email notification if you want to trigger the email notification for the enrollments you can always set it yes yeah enrollment edit allowed for now i'm not uh, allowing employee to uh, edit the enrollment after it is being enrolled so that's why i'm setting this option as no keeping as it is uh, enrollment screen id if you want to create any custom ui for this enrollment screen you can go ahead and create that and assign that custom ui here over here but right right now i'm just uh, want to use the default screen what is the default screen let me just quickly show you i'm opening a new window now uh, if we just search benefit screen lookups here you can specify uh, always a system uh, when you uh, uh, enable the benefit module system will enable some standard uh, UIs for that as well um, for enrollment I have assigned already this enroll benefit enrollment UI as this one uh, benefit enroll other insurances so this is the default screen if you if somebody is not creating any custom UI then system will use this default screen to uh, populate to, to the employees for the enrollment uh, uh, feature purpose actually yeah uh additional enrollment fields not required carry forward enrollment not required contacts if you want to just uh, set any contacts you can create one contacts and assign it here already one contacts is created it is nothing but who is the owner of this enrollment activity in the organization so employee face any issue or employee have any doubt they can directly contact with this particular uh, people these are they are nothing but the hrs from that on that particular organization actually yeah you can create this kind of uh, contact details over here and just tag it 
and uh, hyper uh, hyperlinks so uh, any organizations have some specific websites which is uh, telling the uh, all the uh, uh, insurance or other benefit related uh, descriptions to the employees so if you want to have any uh, organ I mean, so website link from, from that organization you can directly just place it here as a part of url if nothing is maintained there you can leave it as well and also some organizations have no websites they want to tag in some pdf documents uh, to the employees so that the employee have any doubt in mind when they are going for the enrollment they can go through this pdf that will cover all of the policy uh, details of that organization and they can decide how they want to enroll that or not so do that you can uh, uh, upload some pdf documents just like these uh, there is a couple of documents available like uh, global benefit fund document is available this is how you can just assign any useful links over there or directly you can assign the pdf documents over here and you can upload that so it will be available to the uh, in uh, um, basic benefit uis and employee can access that if they have any doubt okay so let me just uh, move ahead now comes the major uh, insurance related configuration fields okay so here the insurance type we need to choose which particular insurance uh, we are going to configure uh, so for now i'm just choosing health uh, and medical insurance here so i'm choosing this type normally relevant yes normally relevant this is one yeah, uh, use uh, decimal precision for contribution amounts if you just uh, want the any decimal particular precision for that you can uh, set it as yes or if you don't want you can set it as no so i'm not uh, changing these uh, settings for now insurance plan so we need to create some insurance plan here so let's try to create one insurance plan in the insurance plan or what are the major fields we need to specify first of all the frequency frequency means uh, what is the premium frequency for this particular benefit from the employee actually so if you choose this at monthly then monthly basis the amount is going to be deducted as a part of employee contribution if you choose this annually as in annually it is going to be deducted actually plan id you can specify any unique uh, ID over here, so I'm choosing here 1000 as a plan ID, plan name, so LYT insurance plan. So this is the name I'm just putting here insurance provider. You can create one insurance provider here, so in uh, provider ID, suppose LYT uh, provider name, LYT contact person you can just put some uh, contact person name over here or you can just leave it as it is it will uh, let you allow to create that and you can put it over here right. now uh, employer contribution pay component employee uh, contribution pay components as i told as a part of prerequisite we need to create it so we i have already created one uh, health uh, a component for us employees let me check employee contribution this one this pay component i have already created so i'm just tagging in there if you want to know how the pay components uh, need to be created what are details of that just please post uh, your comment in the comment box i can prepare a separate uh, video on the pay components itself yeah eligibility rule you can specify if any particular set of employees who should be eligible for this uh, insurance enrollment you can specify that for now i am not uh, putting that so i'm uh, i'm just let it be applicable for all of the employees in the organization yeah so premium for is you can specify whether this is only employee or only dependent employees dependent related or employee or employee employee employees dependent related uh, both actually you can specify that for this i'm just choosing employee and dependents both effective date i'm choosing one nine first gen 1900 this is the effective date and country this is for united states specific so yes i'm choosing and uh, as you uh, as i told already that uh, this basic uh, benefit uh, structure or insurance or uh, benefit uh, structure that sap has built keeping uh, in mind from us customers or they have taken the difference from us customers so that's why some us specific local fields are available 
so as you see when i choose the country or region as usa automatically this us specific some uh, fields already available over here so this is a cobra the, uh, subject to cobra means this uh, there is a specific uh, insurance for the us uh, employees so these are relevant to that only so i'm not uh, putting any specific uh, settings for that whatever it is available i'm just keeping as it is now uh, coverage options so before going to the coverage options let me just try to save this option uh, i should have at least one coverage option okay so let me create one coverage option first l system will not allow to save me uh, enrollee option id so i'm choosing 2000 as the id okay now enrollee options name suppose it is employee only okay dependents option so this is only for the employee so i'm choosing the employee only right now uh you know, let, so these fields are not relevant then i'm just saving it so this coverage option is already created let me just save it so the plan doesn't have any coverage details i also need to provide the coverage details as well okay so within the coverage details okay, let me just create one coverage details here so coverage id let me just put 3000 as the coverage id lyt coverage and this coverage type first i'm just choosing the coverage type as amount as i already mentioned uh, in the uh, theory part of this configuration there are four types available for, to configure the coverages right one is amount another is percentage then factor and other so amount is nothing but a hard coded value so when, when i choose amount you can see one amount field is populating over here so i'm choosing here as 25000 say for employees coverage so my coverage is created saving it rate chart i also need to create but uh, before uh, creating the rate chart let me just try to these uh, insurance plans so let me save it okay so insurance plan i have created now i have to create the uh, so let me just assign the same insurance plan uh, over here lyt insurance plan lyt default insurance plan i'm just putting the same as well and only options it is employee only and uh, default insurance coverage that we have already created yeah this is the one 3000 lyt coverage but it is not completed yet i have to create the rate chart as well so let me go back again try to modify it and uh, over here let me create the rate chart first uh, as i told in the rate chart there are uh, different filter criteria available uh, it is gender specific uh, location relevancy uh rate chart type it is always be regular age from age uh, criteria and smoking relevancy right so right gender location i'm just putting as uh, is uh, nothing so that uh, it can be relevant to all employees i'm just putting the age criteria as uh, 18 to 60 and enrollment for uh, this is only in employee specific you can just uh, choose it for uh, or you can create it or if you also you can leave it as blank because in the enrollee options we already we have specified the employee or in um, means employee only that option over there right so uh, smoking relevancy i'm just setting it as uh, not relevant first and if it is not relevant then employee contribution is 50 employer contribution is 75 finish it 
and in the uh, factor uh, you can put it as minus 1 as I told if we put the factor as minus 1 then what about the uh, employee and employer contribution you are going to set these values are going to be placed hard coded in the uh, in enrollment UIs okay but if you want to put any factors which is going to be multiplied with those uh, uh, defined employer employer contribution then you can put it other than minus 1 values okay now uh, we have to fill up these fields as well uh, starting date let's say p1900 red chart id let's say b4000 insurance plan uh, whatever the insurance plan we have created lyt insurance plan uh, when i put the insurance plan automatically the insurance provider each is faced from the plan itself uh, insurance coverage it is uh, 2000 or oh, sorry it is not 2000 you can find those values in the drop down as, as well okay so this is all about and currency i need to set the currency as usd over here saving it okay it is now created let me copy this coming to the rate chart option put it over here finish it save So just waiting to save. Yes. So save is completed now. Uh, so now the basic configuration is saved. Let me quickly save this as well. Yeah, it is saved now. Now it's time for testing. Let's uh, go back here. Try to find one employee. Uh, with the legal entity 1710 I think this employee we have or US specific employee actually yeah let's uh, go to this employees benefit section Okay, so you can see the uh, in, in, in uh, employees benefit section, our created uh, insurance, LYT insurance is available and it is showing zero days because uh, when I'm recording this video in the live demo system right now, uh, the date is 31st May 2000. 20 and also I have set the enrollment last date as our enrollment close date as 31st May 2020 that's why it is showing zero days remaining now for this employee and now uh, the enrollment UI is opening and when the enrollment UI opens we can see automatically the plan created for this particular employee each each phased up lyt uh, insurance plan who is the carrier it is also showing uh, enrolling for this option is only showing the employee only because in the uh, plan we have only tagged the enrollee option as em employee only coverage it is showing the pro, uh, right coverage uh, LOIT coverage over here smoking relevancy automatically it is picking the not relevant and uh, the contributions whatever the contributions we have set up over there 50 percent employees contribution uh, 75 percent uh, employees for contribution 50 percent employer contribution 75 percent and uh, the premium frequency is also monthly it is already being faced as well and rest of the part of the policy documents and currency those things but uh, right now let's uh, try to check one thing suppose uh, smoking uh, relevancy i'm setting as yes for this employee but we have not configured yet the rate chart for the smoking relevancy right so system should not allow to process so, yeah you can see these error messages populating no amounts maintained for the specific age group with the selected combination of fields please contact your admin it is because we have not set up the uh, insurance rate chart with the smoking equals to s we have what we have set we have set the smoking relevancy is not equivalent now uh, let me try to edit this part again 
and let me also create another uh, red chart value with smoking relevancy equals to yes so here i'm just putting age 18 to 60 uh, enrollment for employee only smoking relevancy I'm, now i'm setting as yes if it is yes employee need to put more uh, contribution from employee side suppose it is 75 from employee side and from employee side also it is 75 let's finish it save it now uh, let's check I'm trying to change the smoking relevancy. Yes. And uh, when I set it, yes, automatically you can see whatever the relevant chart we have configured related to smoking relevancy equals to yes, that is being populated over here. That means it is also working. Now uh, let's try out the other options. Like uh, now we have seen the coverage is. 30,000 it is a fixed value also the insurance chart is where we have set the factor as minus one that means it is picking up the whatever the hard coded values we are defining here in the red chart itself now let's try out the percentage type or other factor type uh, configure uh, insurance coverage types okay so for that let me just open the coverage configurations try to edit it okay so now uh, i'm choosing the coverage type as percentage first yeah so when we are just uh, choosing the coverage type as percentage first uh, percentage then we need to specify the percentage over here suppose i'm choosing the percentage as uh, 10 percent and uh, pay component uh, i'm choosing as um, pay component group let me just choose it as annualized salary employees annualized salary so it will just calculate uh, the coverage amount as the employees pay component annualized uh, what is the employees uh, annualized salary based on that it will just calculate the 10 percent of that as the coverage for this insurance okay let me save it So now we have set the uh, coverage type as a percentage and we have placed as 10% of the annual salary should be uh, considered as the coverage amount for this insurance. Now also we need to change the rate chart as well. So let me just go to the rate chart changing the effective date. And uh, so in the previous step we have set the rate uh, factor as minus one so it is always picking the hard coded values from employee and employer contributions now we need to change the factor as well so we can understand what is the utilization of this factor field so i am just putting the factor suppose one rather than minus one so it should not pick up the hard coded values from this employer em employee contribution and also uh, i'm changing the employee contribution as five percent and employer contribution should be seven percent suppose okay seven percent saving this now let's check now again i'm going for the same employees enrollment for this particular insurance uh, so I clicked on the enrollment UI, let the UI open first and the UI open now. Now let's check what is the equivalent contribution amounts. You can see the equivalent contribution amounts are getting changed as well based on the whatever the contribution types we have set uh, in the rate charts and coverages. Okay, now uh, this is how the percentage also can be calculated dynamic basis as well. Okay. Now uh, uh, let's uh, check the other option of uh, configuration of uh, coverage type as factor. Factor one uh, example like if uh, uh, means uh, employees coverage will be dynamically decided based on employees base salary into 2.5 factor. Okay, so in that case we need to choose the factor option to multiply the base salary with that particular factor and to derive the particular uh, uh, 
employees uh, coverage and then employees uh, add, uh, premium or employer employer contribution values also can be changed accordingly based on the coverage amounts okay so let's try to figure out that first how we can do that so here uh, you can see in the coverage insurance coverage i choose the configuration type as factor right now and i am putting the factor as 2.5 also you can choose uh, the particular pay component or you can choose the annualized salary as well or you can uh, choose a particular business tool to derive the employees base salary as well so for now let me just also show uh, showcase the business tool functionality over here So let me just create one business rule for that purpose. Go to create new is the basic option LYT coverage factor insurance. and we want the benefit salary should be divide annual salary divided by 12 nothing more than that so let me just choose the annual salary so annual salary is not available let me add a, another parameter over here like compensation information So this is the and let me choose it from compensation information. As you know, we already have this annualized salary uh, pay component group available. So I'm just dividing it by 12. And setting it as the benefit salary for this employee so uh, this benefit salary is nothing but we can update or modify the benefit salary before we calculating the uh, insurance coverage for that particular benefit type that is the purpose of this benefit salary business tool basically so uh, that is why i just to demonstrate one simple example how dynamically we can just uh, set up the employees benefit salary right so this rule has been created let me just place that rule over here okay why it is not coming because i have not saved the rule type as benefit please don't forget to set this rule type as benefit when you are configuring any kind of benefit rules oh, save it first to say no now let's go over here now it is coming so i save it and i also place so our benefit salary for this coverage uh, should be uh, been, uh, employees uh, uh, base salary uh, means annualized salary divided by 12 means monthly base salary into 2.5 factor okay so let's me save it okay, a component group the annualized salary so factor is saved in the red chart let me just modify a little bit so that we can understand the difference So it is 5 or 7. Let me just put it as 10%. And this one is 15% for smoking non relevant. And if it is smoking relevant, let me just put it the same way 15%. 15 percent. saving it now let's try to uh, test
Now uh, let's uh, test it here from the same employees enrollment. So I'm just navigating over here and uh, you, you can see automatically the contribution amounts getting changed because the coverage amount is also getting changed over here using the factors. So this is how we can also utilize this uh, factor option. Let me also try to check whether the smoking uh, 11 equals to yes, that is also working fine or not. Uh, so when I set the smoking 11 equals to yes, you can see here both amount is coming as 15 uh, 15 uh, percent or 15% of 15% uh, for employee contribution, 15% from employer contribution. This is how. So this is how we, you can configure these uh, benefit uh, configurations. I have demo, tried to demonstrate few important configurations over here, which are more, most uh, commonly used in different uh, um, projects as a part of climate requirements. There are so many other scenarios uh, or client specific scenarios are also available. So please uh, let me know if you are interested to to view those configurations, special use cases on uh, benefit, uh, benefit configuration or insurance type benefit configurations. Please let me know using your comments in the uh, by dropping your comments in the comment box. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like uh, symbol. Don't uh, forget to share this video with your other colleagues and other friends as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Keep watching. Happy learning. Yeah.